Oh, it's recording. Hello, YouTubers. Uh, my girlfriend and I were discussing the issue a little earlier. So I decided, hey, let's make a, a little bit more in-depth uh, video of some other deals that an inspector or a guy on the assembly line should have known better than to let this slide. I can only imagine how many of these dryers went by and he done the same thing to it. Like I mentioned in the previous video. Now on this one, I decided, well, let me get a little further in depth. So, me being mechanically inclined, I went ahead and noticed that the issue of the motor not being far out enough so I thought well maybe I can slide it unbolt it and slide it forward but the thing is this thing as you can see it's got two holes and two slots here so this motor is set in a certain position that being the case, the guy that put this together, or a girl, whoever was on the line, putting these things together, I mean, the thing is set. So when you try to come and put this piece, this piece up against here, like I showed you on the previous video, it doesn't set up against here to create a, a complete seal around here so it'll maximize the suction ability of this fan maybe the cause of what made this thing get hot but made this thing get hot or hotter than it should be creating the the thing to trip or these I, I I really can't tell you because that meter these and they were they were they were a uh, open circuit and uh, another issue we thought of, I, well I thought of was this if you look at this these marks here these marks here they're from the barrels turning up against this and rubbing which then would create this motor, motor to work harder just to turn the barrel where it should roll freely on these rollers. So I'm thinking, you know what them sound guns did? They shoved this piece to make it fit up against here and screwed it in. As I'll note, this thing, this lip here is bent as well as this here is indented I just don't understand how some of these guys can just let this stuff go it's crazy quality control you know if if the inspector doesn't catch it from the worker bringing it to his attention that these things don't match fix it so I just thought I'd bring that to your attention by showing you that the motor is preset on this plate that's pressed, you know, with all the little holes already punched in it and whatnot, as the design by the uh, engineer, but yet the failure was the distance between here and here. So I just thought I'd bring it bring a little bit more detail into what the problem or the issue is that I'm having with this dryer. I hope it helps you guys, uh, you know, see some of the issues that some of these companies fail to recognize and correct them. So we called and set an appointment for a Maytag guy to come and check it out. And I'm wondering what his excuses are going to be. 
I mean, what can what can the consumer do now after, you know, so many years? But as uh, I was under the impression that Maytag, you know, they back their products lifetime. And so the commercial says, if I recall right. So give me your opinions, guys. Uh, I'd like to hear them. And uh, I hope you all share this with your friends or people you know that bought Maytag dryers like these. <clears throat> and maybe have the same. I mean, you know, uh, a dollar is a dollar. And if you got to work your butt off and sweat your ass off to make that dollar, and you go and buy something that's expensive and you're under the impression that they're they're good or the best on the market, per se, they're commercials and whatnot. It's been working pretty good for me until this issue came up of not, not uh, drying. And look what I come across. Holy cow. Who would ever known? Maybe some of these appliances or this appliance here might have been the cause of uh, fire, overheating, you know. Uh, then you get the and puts the thing back together without telling you that this thing is not set right. And he goes and puts it back together. Who knows? It might be twice as bad by the time he's done and he doesn't inform you. How about that? It's just a thought. Could happen. You never know about these service guys. Are they going to tell you the truth? Or just come and charge you a hundred bucks? hundred fifty bucks for the service call? And uh, all he did was put a 50 cent uh, fuse on it or repair deal. And he just made a, a cool killing. So I know that happened with service people. Some of them are honest. Some aren't. They're just out to make a buck. Who cares? Anyway, I just thought I'd bring a little bit more of a, a detailed info on the whole situation here. Anyway, thank you guys for tuning into my video and I hope you all share it and inform your friends and family and pass the word around and get, get the word out. Maybe some of you guys that are mechanically inclined and have one of these, take it apart, check it out. Let me know in the comments what you found. Then again, God bless and uh, peace. Share it. Love you guys. Bye.